Hello, and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. In today's video, I'm responding to a viewer's request to create a video showing how to program the Cricut Explorer to write. So let's get started. In the Cricut Design Space, let's go to Add Text, which brings up a box in which you can go ahead and type out your text. In this case, we're going to put Sassy Scrapbooking. When you opened up that text box, it also created a, a box called Layers off to the right, which shows the various layers that will be needed to cut and or write your text. In this case, because it's a Cricut Alphabet, a default cut text, it brought up two layers. We're really going to look at the All Fonts notation up there. Of the all fonts, there's one called has writing style. That converts the cutting into a writing style. And a writing style is going to uh, display fonts specifically designed to be drawn with a pen. While most fonts will trace the outside of the letters, writing style fonts feature letters with single strokes, so they're m the most similar to handwriting text. And I always go back and I highlight or I change the color of my writing style text to the dark midnight just because it's easier to see on the screen. You will also notice that the edit box gives you the sizes so you have your width and the height of the text that you're working with. So let's go in and add another text and type in sassy scrapbooking. And then we're going to go back to the fonts and choose another font. Uh, you'll notice that there are fonts in there that can be purchased. I haven't done that. I'm just using my subscription fonts. So now I'm going to choose Ashley's Alphabet. And go back to add another text. And this time I'm going to use Baby Steps. And then I'm going to use the letter spacing to bring the letters closer because it looks like it doesn't really look like handwriting there's too much space in between the letters okay and then go back to add text and sassy scrapbooking and this time we're gonna try billionaire and again I'm gonna adjust the letter spacing because there's just too much space in between the letters and I really want it to look like handwriting Okay, and now I'm going to try here's another text, and we'll do birthday bash. Hmm. Looks a little bit like Ashley's alphabet, so let's change it to birthday cakes instead. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I'm going to go ahead and add more text and do cake basics. And another text for country life. And last but not least, I'm going to try Don Juan. And then I'm going to send it to my Cricut Explorer and see how they print. Before sending to the final print, what I'm going to do is move this text down to the bottom. Just for the purposes of this video, I want them lined up one after the other. Um, you also notice on the left hand side, the one and only mat that we're looking at shows the icon that it's a, for writing. It is not going to be a cut. So let's go ahead and send it to the Cricut Explorer and see what our final results are. And the Cricut is off and running. I am going to go ahead and speed up this video because I know you don't want to sit through six or eight minutes of watching it print. You'd rather just see the end results. And I also do want to take a second to mention that the pen that I'm using in this video is a four-ray style mark pen. It's a fine tip pen. I have a previous video out on my YouTube channel that kind of just highlights the four-ray uh, style mark pens that I did pick up at Office Depot. They were $8 for a pack of 12 and they work extremely well. They fit extremely well. Um, if you bought a pack I know you'll be pleased and they come in a variety of colors. And this brings us to the end of my video. 
I want to take a moment and thank you for watching my video at Sassy Scrapbooking. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now.